to me, probably my favorite answer for uh, worshiping in spirit and truth was Jack Hayford. Because um, he talked about, um, we understand truth. You know, like we understand that it's important to worship in truth. And I'll just hit on that real quick. I, I, I think if you really want to honor somebody, yeah, it has to be true. You know, and so it's not honoring. Um, I've had people try and honor me, come up to me and, and, uh, and honor me. And they're, they don't know a whole lot about my life. And the truth is, it doesn't really land. You know, I mean, they might say beautiful things, but if you know they're not true, it, it doesn't really land. And I think the Lord wants to be honored for who he actually is, not for our ideas of who he is or any of that. Like, truth is important if you want to honor somebody. I mean, if you go to, um, uh, like, a birthday party or that kind of thing or something where they're trying to honor the, uh, uh, the person, um, you'll find that the one that goes the deepest, the, the, the remarks that have the most weight always come from the people that have the most intimate knowledge, the most truth ab about that person. They're able to speak and honor uh, to the truth of who that person is. And so that's just honoring to the Lord. Truth is important. And I, and I think truth is connected to love. Um, I know a lot of worshipers who, who, who claim to have a deep, deep passion for the Lord, but they don't read their Bibles. <laughs> and, and I just, uh, I, I, I call that out. I call that, I, I, you know, because I, I go like, no, nah, something's not congruent there. You know, if you love somebody, love studies. Love obsesses, actually, is the truth. Like, love Love longs for truth, wants to know the truth, you know. Uh, man, I could go on and on about the importance of truth and worship. But spirit, spirit is something that we don't totally understand all the time. We're like, what does it mean to worship in spirit? And, there, and there's a lot of depth, but um, Jack Hayford used this definition. He, he, said, he says, our, our, our translation of spirit, would, it would probably be closer to heart. Like God is looking for heart-begotten worship, that spiritual worship. Like when we bring... It's, it's the seed of all our emotional response. And he's looking for all of us, all that we're, you know, our, our internal world, all that he created us to be for us to bring that to the Lord um, fully, authentically, um, and in truth. And um, to me, that's what it means to worship with all of our hearts. It's all of you, really. And, uh, and to bring that in truth before the Lord, I think that's a bit of what it means to worship in spirit and in truth.